What's up guys, Aiden here, Aiden on Landscaping. Welcome back to another video. Today in this video, we're sitting down at the studio. You know, you guys have already seen this angle. I hope it looks really, really good. Anyways, we had a little bit of everything for you today. We actually are gonna be washing the equipment, talking about this setup. You guys have been asking how I'm getting this shot. So finally, without further ado, let's get into the video. Before we get into the video, I wanted to mention a shout out to the Green County Fur team, John Perry, Brad Huff, Deidre Huff, and the whole packaging team. You guys rock, I got a long sleeve neck shirt, so I told them I'd wear it in the videos because you know, we're always using their products, so why not rep it in the videos? So shout out to Brad and Deidre. Thanks for hooking me up with this shirt, and John, you always take care of everything, so I appreciate that. Um, there's enough, tons of words I could say for that. Thank you, John. Much appreciated. Back, guys, let's jump into the studio, grab the camera, and let's take a walk around here and show you how I set up this shot because you all, you all have been asking. Let me talk about that for a quick second. I do not have anything expensive in this set. I am $5 in the light bulbs, $20 into a gel pack to gel the background a different color, a few dollars into Joby Gorilla Pods. Everything else was A, all the lights for this shot were sent to me. Shout out to the Chuck with dad all day. I, I can't do the whole daddying. I, I can't say it, Chuck. I'm sorry. Thank you for the lights. Much appreciated. And you guys know the microphone sitting right here and the camera this is being shot on is from Brian's Lawn Maintenance. And you all know Brian's the man. Anyway, guys, let's take a look at this studio. Check it out. And we'll come back with you in a quick minute. What's up? First time we're actually grabbing the camera to do a little vlog off of it. Anyway, guys, we're down here checking out the studio, what it finally looks like after we got it completely finished. So here is what we got. All right, so what we got right here is my desk, which you saw me sitting at. That's the microphone. That's what we were sitting on. And up here, we just got those traditional lights you can buy at Home Depot, just clamp lights. We got an LED bulb sitting inside of them. And we took a piece of poster board and actually taped it to a piece of cardboard. I don't know if you could see that. Got it running off of a garden stick down there and plugged in. So you don't want to point this light right at your face because you won't get that good cinematic look. So you actually have it bouncing off this core, which you can see provides good light, which gives this a nice, even, consistent fill. You can see it all in there. Back here, on the back side of the chair, we got a clamp light clipped on with a green gel. The gels look like this. They're plastic. You can clamp it, and that actually creates this green curtain. Last week's video, you all might have thought it was daylight, but it's really pitch black just like it is now. Crazy how you can change anything with a little bit of lick. A little lick of production. Just got the extension cord running off of that which powers up right into here where we got a two plug. One's powering our light up here and one is powering our light here. And then typically with a camera like this it's going to get a little bit grainy if you're shooting in too much low light. So the same bulb that's in these two light bulbs here is in this bulb, is in, let me focus. It's in that right there. Same bulb, really great bulb. It's the soft white LED. They are made by EcoSmart. That brand right there, that's what brand light bulbs they are. And then from there, that's really how we light that set. That's really all we do to light the set, except we have one more light I wanna show you real quick. This one is completely optional. I don't think you'd need it, but right here on this Ikea shelf with my mom's scrapbook stuff, right there, we've got another one of those clamp lights, which actually powers this wall right here next to our treadmill, which as you can see, just gives that extra little bit of fill light. So, hope you guys enjoyed checking out how I make a video like this. Everything from there is done in post. I change a little bit of the highlights, blacks, colors, saturation like that. Change a little bit of that, help make this a more professional looking film that you guys see. Our first landscaping job for the season, booked to start March 14th, so I'm excited about that. We're getting everything ready. For all the fertility customers, we bought some new equipment, reinvesting into business for just stuff we need. Stuff that we got to get anyways, so you guys will all be seeing that on the channel hopefully soon. I'm trying to do like a semi-production type movie for that when I reveal all of my equipment for the 2020 setup reveal. I did last year's video, it was not good because it was one of my, I think, top five uh, videos I had done. Like, it was the fifth video I did on the channel, so it was a long, long time ago. 
something I'm not very impressed with. I'm not even going to link it in the top right hand corner. If you guys want to go watch it, you can go find it yourselves. It was a terrible video. It wasn't even in widescreen. I think it was cropped in like right there. So, you know, I didn't even know how to use the GoPro back then, which is crazy how far we've come in a year. But I'm going to try to do a semi-production with it um, when we get ready to shoot the uh, actual thing where we reveal all the equipment. Talk about what the importance of maintaining a good, clean image with your equipment is. But before we do that, you know me, we got a B-roll sequence for washing all that equipment. So let's go wash that equipment. So that equipment's pretty clean, isn't it? Looks pretty good, right? Finally got that looking really, really good. So when I clean my equipment, I want it to last a really long time. So what they say is if you take care of your equipment, it'll take care of you. So I like to do that because, you know, if you take care of your equipment, it'll take care of you. So what that means is if you take care of your equipment, you keep it clean, you keep it nice, change your oil, spark plugs, blades, all that kind of stuff. Your equipment will take care of you in the long run. It'll help you make money, become your asset. So I keep my equipment clean. It also helps maintain a good image to your customers. If they see you out there rolling in with all this clean, shiny stuff, they'll know you have a clean image and that you like to keep your stuff clean. And in return, you're going to provide a clean property for them. Well, guys, nothing crazy out of this video. I'm actually going to be starting a new series out in my garage, but I'm not going to talk too much about that today. I don't want to spoil the surprise we've got coming for that. Other than that, guys, we really don't have much going on in the lawn. I'm just trying to provide you guys with good content that could possibly help as we push for spring, and then we'll finally have some good content coming out for you guys. Not to say this isn't good content, but this is my time I practice, perfect my editing skills so I can get faster at it for you guys to get back up on that weekly content. If you have any questions about this video, please leave them in the box down below. But with that, I'm Aiden from Maze Lawn Landscaping. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. Do all the YouTube jam stuff, because we like it. Peace out. Thank you.